uh, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> also, I'd like to take a few pictures. I love what you're wearing right now. It's so real. <laughs> Welcome back. That was a clip from Palm Royale, a new series about how the uninvited sneak their way into high society. One of its stars we grew up with. You know her as Natalie Green of the Facts of Life. Please welcome to the show, Mindy Kong. Yeah. Hi guys. Hey. So Palm Royale is all about a woman trying to break into an elite social circle. And I wanted to ask you this because I felt this in my life. Do you ever remember a time you needed to fake it till you made it? That's like for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is also for me right now. Oh good. Oh thanks Mindy. <laughs> okay good. <laughs> that makes me feel good. <laughs> what? You, Jeff? That was the answer? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That well, nice geez, I was late. I was waiting for an answer. All right. <laughs> so the cast for the show is awesome. We're going to talk about Rick yes. Martin because oh, he he's, he's my him. man crush. He's my man crush. But how fun is it shooting every day on set? What's your favorite moment? I mean, it's stupid. It's a, an embarrassment of riches. I think every day got exponentially better, if that can make sense. Whatever familial and girl fanning we were all doing with each other um, just quickly turned into very real um friendships um this was shot during the times of covid and so what was going to be a four-month gig turned into almost a seven-month gig and we really got to spend a lot of time together and create and uh yeah it, it just it keeps getting better it, gotta say it looks so good and it's eye candy too right? i know i am so excited about this because in the age of instagram we all personally know a con artist so i'm really <laughs> excited <laughs> Um, so, speaking of your famous friends, obviously this yeah. is the, the life that you live. Your Instagram account is filled with you hanging out with other famous people. Who are some of your favorite friends to run into? Uh, well, you're seeing one, Brian Cranston. I think Brian and I have known each other, I, I think, 30 years. Oh, I mean, wow. that's part of, um, you know, oh, you know so many people. No, it's one of those six degrees of separation of Kevin Bacon, but it's Mindy Cohn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is what happens when you just last this long. Um, it's, yeah, it's it's pretty special. But I have to say this new Palm Royale crew um, has upped my ante about what kind of A-list people I'm hanging out with, wouldn't you say? Uh, just <laughs> uh, your Instagram. This is why I, I want to disable my account. It. Hers yeah. is so cool. Now, I have to ask you, like, we're talking about where you are now, but I want to talk about where it started. You know, your story is super amazing. You were discovered for the facts of life by Norman Lear when he visited your school once. Like, I'm assuming you remember that day, so please tell us about it. I remember that day vividly and gratefully, and for all you young people out there, just ignore this next statement. We took a poll of... Uh, a, a, Oh my gosh, Mindy, I've lost the power of speech. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? The instant camera? Polaroid. Polaroid. Yeah, yeah. Yep. There she is. Yep. Um, so I still have that. Um, it was incredible. I mean, we there was a group of students, myself, Dara Perkins, Andrea Nagel, who went into the headmaster's office at the request of Norman Lear and his, at that time, underling, Ellen Horn, who then started to run little studios like Warner Brothers and Disney. Uh, and, yeah. And Charlotte Ray, these are my first bosses, right? And after about an hour of talking about what it was like to go to a college prep all-girls school, which is what I did uh, in Los Angeles, um, Norman came over and said, listen, I don't know what you did, but we're going to write a part for you in our show. We're going to mm. call her Natalie. Wow. Uh, that was Charlotte Ray's best friend's you know, real name in high school. Um, what do you think? And, you know, at 13 years old, entering ninth grade, didn't think much, didn't quite understand what was happening. Um, Ten years later, of course, holy heck. Yeah. Iconic. Wow. Can you imagine no. this Norman Lear picking you out? Unbelievable. I know. You also played Velma, who I think is a really underrated love Velma. character on Scooby-Doo for over a decade. Were you a fan of the original series from the 60s when they approached you to play Velma? Absolutely. Honestly, you talk about an icon and some people just because we find all the girls and I realize we've aged into being icons. Um, really, Velma is the icon I've played. I mean, there is no one more iconic, in my humble opinion, than Velma Dinkley. Totally. And I gratefully got to play her for about 13 years. Wow. There's, there's a lot of Velma stands it, out here, too. Yeah, yeah for I sure. Was, I, when I was you a little are. kid, I was, a, I was all Velma. I was you were. Velma. You yes. would still have a thing for Velma. You I'll do. make it creepy. You do. It is yeah, a little, a little creepy.
Yeah. I have called her Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> but he does. He does. I'm I like for her. Velma. I think she's the fun. She's like the interesting one. Agreed. Uh, yeah. Mindy, thank yes. you so much. And honestly, yeah. yes. don't don't let it fool you. Velma's body kind of doesn't quit. Thank you. I know. I know. I, know. I can't say that as a dude on TV, but that was she's that's right. the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. right. And the glasses. It's Velma. Come on. Yep. It's Velt. Yeah. Mindy, DBL Nation, don't miss Palm Royale premiering today. I can't wait on Apple TV Plus. Thank you again. We'll be right back. Congratulations. Yes, you deserve Thank you. it. Thank you. Absolutely.